Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to install this ball bearing into this go-kart rim. So I've got a ball bearing. Now what I've done is I've got a socket and that socket is going to apply the force to the outer race. I don't want to apply any force to any other part except the outer race or the outer ring. So put into position put the socket on top and start hammering in Every now and again I'm going to check to make sure that the inner race is moving, and it is, so that's fantastic. Oops. Check the inner race again. You can hear the change in sound now because it's that in indicates to me that that it's installed cor that's been installed correctly when I hear the change in sound now I'm just going to do the other side got the ball bearing in place put the socket put the socket there and You want to check every now and again that you're doing it evenly because you don't want it lopsided. Check the inner race that's still turning, fantastic. That's in. Here, listen for the change in sound. And keep. Sounds all right. Cut spindle. And I think that's a job done, so yeah. That's how, that's how I 
install ball bearings into go-kart rims and this technique can be applied for uh, other other things where ball bearings have to be installed and it has to be like um, one of these uh, whatever they call it, friction fit or tight fit or I'm not sure what the exact technical term is but uh, where the out, outer thing is stationary and and um, and it's got to it's got to be like a tight fit. So yeah, this this is crazy. Our signing out. Thanks for watching.